I was really surprised to hear that I had been nominated. I do not think of myself as an inspirational person, um, but I do care about students, um, especially right now during the pandemic. It's so hard for all of us to just keep the work going. I think society often conditions women to put limits on themselves that don't have to be there. So I think realizing that opportunities are far more open than they realize and that they are often capable of far more than they knew they could do. So if I could go back in time and give myself advice, I think it would be to take advantage of more opportunities. Yeah, no, it's very exciting and humbling um, to be recognized by the organization. I feel like it kind of makes my job here, just as an admin coordinator, like fulfilled. Like I'm making a difference um, in the lives of our students, which is our ultimate goal. So yeah, that's like really, like, thanks guys. I think um, sometimes, especially uh, women um, in the workplace or even just um, college, like if you're in a part of an organization you want to do upper level leadership, I believe sometimes we can be looked at as less than um, and sometimes it feels like we're fighting for better opportunities, especially if we are um, a minority. Um, it seems like we're coming against a lot of odds, but I do believe that those are opportunities for us to grow and actually uh, just show what we're capable of. My advice would be to uh, apply yourself, um, and meaning that really give it your all. So if you're going to do something, um, do it to the best of your ability. Um, believe in yourself. Encourage other women. Um, go after those hard courses or that internship that you feel like you can't do. It overwhelms me. Um, I don't just go to Georgia Hall just to do a job. I become everything that they need me to be. Um, I really appreciate them as they appreciate me. It makes my job much easier um, just to be there and hear all of, good morning, Miss Judy, good morning, Miss Judy, as well as me doing it back to them. Me getting the thank you for keeping Georgia Hall clean. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for being everything that we're not getting at home because we're in college. So that makes me happy. And with working here at Georgia Hall, around so many other employees and students, it's true, you know? experience staying at work outside of work so sometimes it, it helps to have someone tell you you know it's gonna be okay just do what you're supposed to do don't worry about nothing else that's just been a pleasure working at VSU just meeting so many students of different walks of life it's been an experience and I love every minute of it I think that it's interesting um, what sticks with your students that actually is not about the content itself. But we have to remind ourselves that oftentimes as individuals, but also professor, professionals, um, that that might not be the stuff that they retain, uh, that it might be that you learn from other people, maybe more than you expected to get out of it. Find your voice and use it and trust it. I think all too often we doubt ourselves and we maybe listen to other people's voices more than our own, um, but you have that voice for a reason. And the things that you think and the things that you, um, that sort of your gut is telling you and your ideas, um, they are just as valuable as the next person. So find it and use it. If I could give myself, my college self, one piece of advice, um, I would probably say don't be afraid to be too much. Being too much is actually quite fantastic um, and really feels very awesome. I, I was very honored. Um, the person who recommended me is a very dear friend of mine and I really appreciate uh, her recognizing me. The advice that I would give to college stage women is to be confident. I know it's really hard to be confident sometimes, but confidence is a true reflection of yourself and the beauty that's within you. And life's too short to go through life not speaking your mind, not sharing your thoughts, 
and just being your genuine self. Well, first I was shocked that I was nominated. I was I was um, shocked and honored, um, and I would like to know more <laughs> from this person as to what what was it that inspired them. So, I would say take this opportunity to gain the most from it. Um, help allow it to help you be your true self. Um, learn about yourself. Learn a, a not just about what you're learning in the classroom, but in, inside the classroom, outside the classroom, um, and allow it the opportunity to grow into the wonderful human being that you that you are. Um, we tend to be in that caregiving role, and we tend to um, take care of everyone else besides ourselves. And so, if we are not refueling ourselves, we will eventually um, burn out, and we won't be able to be there for other people. So it's in, it's very it's in. It's, um, very critical for your own self-care. It's wonderful to hear that that there's a student perception, at least with one person, that I'm a kind person. And um, But the other part of it is pretty easy to accept and not as surprising to me because I do want students to learn. I, I do know the one thing I'd really tell tell my 19 or 20 year old self, which, which I think helped me all through life, and that is you gotta work hard to get things. I think a piece of advice that I would give people if I were in that situation or um, something I try to do is is let them know that, that we can do a whole lot more than we think we can do. I think, I think we have to really learn to go for it. Words can't really describe how I feel. You know, you, I think that's why most people go into education is to influence, you know, to have an impact. And um, the word cool <laughs> comes, comes to mind. I mean, how awesome is that? And, you know, you feel um, fulfilled. You feel um, that you're changing things, making things better for people. Find and use your voice. Um, and Believe me, sometimes that takes years to find it and to use it, but um, the sooner the better for, for everyone involved. As women, we need to support each other and, and encourage that, that thought process of use your voice.